today I'm going to show y'all how to treat these Michigan boots. Okay, so let me explain something here why I uh, haven't, haven't uploaded here lately. Now, um, I haven't uploaded on, on my channel here lately. I mean, I ain't been like real sick or nothing. Like one time, you know, I had COVID and you know, I didn't feel good. That's why I didn't upload. But, um, I did explain this in a community post, but if y'all ain't uh, ready yet, um, I got a text message on that in a minute. But anyway, uh, I was using my uncle's, you know, front tire tiller. I showed you in a video on my main channel in the back of his garage. And the other thing is not easy to use by any means. And the other thing is it jerks. You got to pull back on it. You know, I ended up pulling my ad muscles. And uh, and sometimes at night it it got you know where it hurt like really really bad. You know, I couldn't sleep. And uh, and I got to where I can't pick up and pull anything hardly without pulling it. And uh, so I've been having to watch what I was doing. I pulled it again because when I pushed the mower back in, one reason they had a flat tire, so I pulled it again at night. And then when I pushed the mower back in a couple of days later, I didn't think about it. You know, I took and grabbed the fender and pulled it over so I could get it back in. And uh, I ended up pulling it again by doing that. I didn't think that about that when I done it. But so, yeah, I've been having to watch it early. It's been doing better. I'm not going to work because I don't want to teach myself. But, uh, now last night I did, it did start, uh, after I ate a TV dinner, it started, I hurt real bad, and, and I didn't know why, and then I started sweating, like cold sweat like a pig, <laughs> so, and then I, I ended up throwing up, and, uh, which I think what happened was something out of the TV dinner, right, I think, because my grandma told me at Winn-Dixie, uh, a couple of days ago, they actually had a bunch, sent in a buggy that weren't frozen, so, what happened was my mama ended up buying one of those, because she didn't know, and then, you know, then I come along, ended up eating it, and then it made, it made my, you know, stomach knew something was wrong, and it pushed it back up. But, um, yeah, so that's what, uh, what's been going on. And, um, okay, so let's get to the point of the video. Okay, so, now what you want to have when you treat your, your snake skin boots is, uh, you need this right here. Which is a uh, yeah, exotic food conditioner, which um, you can use on uh, different kinds of others too. Like uh, it says, you can cleans, cleans, conditions, and protects exotic leathers, including ostrich, lizard, alligator, python, and other reptile leathers. So you can use this on uh, a good bit of stuff actually. And you also want to use a, a damp rag. Now um. You want to uh, use a specific rag too. Uh, this rag is only used for my snake skin boots. And uh, the reason for it is, you know, you don't want to use a rag you use put shoe polish on or mink oil because you don't want to get that stuff on your snake skin boots. So, what I actually need is like a spray bottle that would probably work a lot better, but that's what I got for now. So, you take some, put it on your rag, like so. your boot and you go in the pattern with the scales. You don't want to go up against the scales if you go up against the scales you know it'll you know tear up the uh, it'll, it'll push the scales up. So um, let me put you on time lapse and I'll show how it's done. Okay so now the skin itself is treated. Now what I also like to do is I take and put some brown shoe polish around the, the sole right here. Now, if you wonder why I'm kind of sounding a little weird, it's because this stuff is really strong and it, it smells. But, uh, so, now what you do is, I have a kit right here, you know, for brown stuff, that's what I usually use. Now, I also have a kit right here for black stuff, which, you know, I'm not going to use on this because it's doesn't have black, so. Um, I keep separate kits, you know, for separate reasons. But, um, okay, so basically, what you do is, first time I've shown you using brown on a uh, video before, I believe. I got 
got two different rags here and a brush. But, um, Okay, so take your shoe polish right here. And uh, put some on, on your rag, like so. And you be careful when you apply this too, because you, you don't want to get this on your neck skin. So take and go around, like so. As you can see, it kind of makes it look a little bit, a little bit dull when you do that. So you, you do that for the rest of the boot, and I'll show y'all that in time lapse. Okay, so I got the shoe polish all applied to the sole. So what you do now is is take your brush and kind of start brushing it. As you can see, it kind of starts shining up. So. Um, you take and do that for the rest of the saw, so I'll put you on time measure again so it won't take so long. Okay, so now we've got it completely brushed, and as you can see, it's starting to shine up some, but what you do is you do like you do on like on a standard leather, but you push your polish on your tape and do with the rag, you know, and, and once you do with the rag, that really starts. I got a separate rag I use for that too, and I'll get shoe polish on it. But when you start As you see, it starts really green. It's trying to want you to start going over it with the with the rag. Okay, so as you can see, it is really shiny now. You can just see the light reflecting in there. That looks really nice. So I got other bits here that I haven't treated yet. As you can see, you can, you can definitely tell the difference in this one over here. Than, than this one. Now, this one is still kind of shiny because it ain't worn anything a little bit. But this one's like fresh. Now, if you wanted to, you could probably do the bottoms. But I mean, that's kind of kind of pointless because I mean, if you're going to be stepping on it, you know, it's just going to wear it out. So. And uh, when you wear these too, it does dull up the sole, believe it or not. So, you see, it is a just a beautiful look. The other side, if I can get face with that, but here's the other side. Like I said, not a huge difference because you know it's been a little while since I wore these, but these ones don't look as shiny though. Because you know, I guess they, they faded a little bit because it's been a while since they've been treated. But um, yeah, you just can't get over that just really shininess. But um, you see, the skin looks pretty good too. Now, like I said, um, always I go with the pattern of the scales too. The scale pattern is not the same too. As you can see where this part is stitched, it goes this way, but here it goes like this. But, um, and these go down back here. But on this other boot over here, you got one. And as you can see, this goes this way, but this one goes like this. But on this side, they both go this way in line with each other. So that makes it a little bit easier doing this one. So, uh, y'all like, like this tutorial? Uh, give me a thumbs up, that'll help me out a lot. And don't forget to hit, uh, like, subscribe to, you know, Backwoods Apparel. And I'll see y'all, uh, next video.